Hey guys, I'm back with version 6 of my home screen tutorial. It's a pretty easy home screen this time, so it's not going to take you long to create. As always, all the links for widgets, wallpapers and icon packs are included in the description. So yeah, let's do this. So the first thing you'll probably notice here is I don't have a navigation bar, and that's because I'm using the Paranoid Android Custom ROM and I've turned it off. So there are a few ways you can do this, but if you're on the Paranoid Android Custom ROM, you can just go to your settings, scroll down to hybrid properties, pull in from the left to the right, just a quick swipe, go to interface and pull the nav bar all the way down to 0%. You can see it right there. Don't forget to hit apply. That will get rid of your nav bar and you can use pi and you'll still have your status bar for notifications. Okay, so let's get down to some of the customization. And the first thing you're going to need is a custom launcher. I'm using Nova Launcher. You don't have to use Nova Launcher. You can use Apex or any of the other ones, but here we go. I'm using Nova. Dive into desktop and go to your desktop grid. You want to change the rows to eight and the columns to four. You then want to go to width margin, change that to small. Height margin is also small. And the persistent search bar is set to never. Now, all the other settings here are pretty much down to you. I haven't got any transitions and I've only got a few home screens. Again, that's just your personal preference. Everything else is stock. Dive into the dock here and you want to go to the width margin, change that to none and the dock height you want to change to large and lastly you want the show divider to be on i just think it looks better with it on so once you've done that you've pretty much done all you need to do with nova launcher so you can see i've deleted the two widgets that we're going to go ahead and place i'll show you exactly how to do that and resize them the first thing you'll need to do is download and install the uccw app from the play store again the links are in the description you can see it right here you don't actually need to open it right now but this is what it is once that's done, go ahead and download Iridescent and HTC5 clock widgets from the Play Store again in the description, and we're ready to go. So once you've got everything installed, it's as simple as just placing a widget. So hold the screen, go to widgets, scroll down to UCCW, you can see it right there. Click into this and it will give you loads of different sizes. Now it doesn't really matter which one you pick because we're going to resize it anyway, so you can just pick anything. Once you've done that, it'll open up UCCW and you should see the widgets that you just downloaded. So you can see Sense 5 Clock and Iridescent. We're going to click Sense 5 Clock to start off with because that's where we are. You can see it processes and then you just have to click the big hand and that's it. Just hold, click resize and make it fit the gap you have. That's as simple as it is. As long as you set the margins, it should go right to the side of the screen. It's exactly the same deal for the iridescent widget. You just, again, click some space, go to UCCW, just click any size because we're going to resize it. Click iridescent, tap it, and then just resize it so it fits the gap that you have. So that's as simple as that is. So if you actually tap one of these widgets right now, you'll notice that it just opens up the UCCW app. Now, that's not very useful because we wanted to open up Google Now. So just press the menu button. You can see it in the top right-hand corner and press the lock widgets button. Now, just turn it on. It should say enabling hotspot mode. And now if you go ahead and press it, you'll see that it does open up Google Now. So that's working as it should. You'll notice on the top widget here, it's got stuff like GPS and weather information. So if you actually open up UCCW, scroll down a little bit and you can see, for example, weather settings, you can click into this and change loads of stuff like weather provider location, update interval so you don't waste your battery and you can also choose what kind of units you want as well. So to finish off the look, we need to change the icons. So you need to go ahead and download the My UI version 5 icon pack. It's available for free in the Play Store. It's one of the best icon packs I've actually found and I really like it. You can either apply it through the launcher itself or you can use the app that it actually comes with. You can see it comes with its own wallpapers as well. They're actually quite nice. So all you need to do is hit your launcher at the top. You can see Nova is the first one. So just give that a hit. Press OK when it says to apply it and then just give it a few seconds and you'll see all the icons will change and that's it. That's pretty much all it is guys. It's really simple. It's a really simple theme but it looks awesome. So yeah, peace out.